Whoops. Hey guys, um, sometimes I'm real good at technology and sometimes I'm not. If you give me just a second to really get this stuff set up the way I want to, it'll be just a second. I'll be in the picture, hopefully. see my face. I'm going to check on the Facebook right here. I got to log on to the live and see. Just before I was getting planned to do this, my son broke a mason jar, so it kind of delayed me a little bit. little bit of delay on the uh, video here. Make that full screen. Read the comments. Let's see. Have a look. Can you see me? I'm waiting on the video to load. I think it should work. All right. Who do we have here watching today? We got Sydney and Thomas, and Louisa, and Tim, and Allie, and Katie. Awesome. Hey, guys. Patrick Huggins is here. Let's see. Have a look. Can you see me? I'm waiting on the video to load. All right. Tim, my son, is doing fine. Who do we have here watching today? He, uh, he loves his pawpaw, and he was trying to get into the room, and... Broke a mason jar. Lauren M is here. Alright, so today is May the 4th. And if you follow um, Star Wars, you know all the Jedi say, May the Force be with you. So today is officially Star Wars Day by all the Star Wars fans because May the 4th be with you. So in spirit of May the 4th, I created a lightsaber. Um, and let's have a quiz or a challenge in the comments. Tell me real quick, whose lightsaber is this? Anybody know? I'll give a second. I don't know if y'all were getting feedback on the video or not, but I muted it. I don't see any comments yet about whose lightsaber this is. Ooh, Thomas got it. I see first one. It is Darth Vader's lightsaber. So red and the tried to make the handle look just most like his. So today we're not making lightsabers because I don't even know what this big cardboard cardboard tube came from. I just saw it in the kitchen. Um, 
but this is a cardboard tube, but it's a big sturdy one. Uh, so I thought I could make a fun project out of it. So if you guys find any sort of a long cardboard tube or PVC pipe if you want, um, it was really easy. All I did is I had just some little girl craft paint. Uh, these are green and white. You'll see for just a second a little bit what those are for. But I just used three colors, the red, the black, and the gray, and I just painted them. It was fun. It took me like, I don't know, maybe five or ten minutes. Super easy. Uh, just in the spirit of today, I made the lightsaber. But here's the thing. If you guys are looking at the schedule, then you know today, um, right now in this activity, it's Music Monday, and we're making kazoos. So this isn't just a lightsaber, but if I turn it on its side... <laughs> it is actually a kazoo that's what i have this wax paper on the bottom for um oh i see aaron c says hello um tim good job on the weight loss um tim it was not luke's i think now i'm not a super big star wars fan i love the music and i love the stories but i think luke's lightsaber is green um green or blue all the bad guys are red so if it's red you can think bad guy uh, all right so what I want to let you guys know uh, for the craft we're doing today something that everybody has super accessible at least we hope so is a toilet paper roll um, you can use a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll any sort of cardboard roll because we're gonna be we got to cut a little bit of a hole in it uh, if it's PVC pipe or metal it's gonna be really hard to try to make a uh, puck one of the little holes in it so I would say that's probably not the best material but any sort of cardboard tube um, that you that's gonna be sturdy enough to hold its shape um, even paper towel or toilet paper it's a little bit squishy but it'll work it'll do the job and then we also need uh oh my rubber band flew away we need a rubber band which I'll walk off and go find that in just a second um, and then some wax paper just things you can find in the kitchen and for to decorate our kazoos uh, I chose paint uh, we just have some craft materials around um, just regular old acrylic or tempera cheap paints uh, nothing fancy so I found paints and then some paint brushes just some cheap paint brushes um, if you want to use anything that'll mark on cardboard so your color pencils might work fine but I know markers will work great um, maybe watercolor paints would do okay uh, but whatever you want however you think you want to decorate or you can decorate a sheet of paper and then you can wrap it around your cardboard and put a piece of tape over it and then that's super easy too um, but today we're gonna we're gonna paint it just like I painted this one give me just one second I'm gonna go see right over here on the ground if my rubber band is there I found it. Here's my rubber band. When everything blew away, it just hit right off the table. So, materials. You need a cardboard tube, a rubber band, some wax paper, and if you want to make your wax paper look nice and neat so you're not tearing it, uh, oh yeah, also we need scissors so that we can poke a hole in our cardboard. So scissors, rubber band, cardboard tube of any kind, paper towel, toilet paper, whatever, and some wax paper um, and for me I don't want to make a mess on my well it's not mine it's my in-laws table their picnic table so I don't want to get paint all over it so I have paper plates for as my paint tray so I don't make a mess let's take a second I'll recheck the comments there's a little bit of a delay I'm out in the backyard if you can't tell and so I'm, I'm quite a wise way from the internet it's a little bit of a lag but I see Mason joined. Hey, Mason. Jared Bazell joined. May the fourth be with you all. Sydney says, hey. Ooh, Sam says she has stickers. Stickers are a great idea. Didn't even think of stickers. Stickers are a perfect idea. If you have stickers, 
or anything that you can use to decorate. And it doesn't have to be Star Wars themed. Um, it's just May the 4th, and there's a fun video coming out at 2 that I worked really hard on um, that you can play along with your kazoos. Don't want to give any spoilers, but sort of the theme of the day. Um, I chose to make a lightsaber. You can make yours however you want. Um, if you want to put puppies or kittens or rainbows or, um, I don't know, I was thinking of things that usually come in stickers. You can make it camping themed, you can do outdoor themed, you can think of hobbies and stuff you do, um, any sort of little doodles you want to put on it. You can paint it one solid color or you can just leave it plain. You can just leave it the plain in the cardboard. Um, and if you'll see, I got green and white. Um, if you guys can think, I'll wait a second and try to hear. Oh, hi, Manny. Hi, Shelby. I just looked over at the comments. Um, I have green and white. And guys, tell me in the comments, what do you think I'm going to try to paint on my small one with green and white colors? I'll give a second for the comments. And Aaron thinks, I think it's a really cool lightsaber too. I told my wife, I said, I think I'm gonna keep this. I'll probably take it up to MP just cause I like it. I think it's cool. It's a cool little instrument. I'm not a great singer though. Um, I play instruments as you'll see at two o'clock. My hair is blowing in the wind. Oh, I'm waiting. Oh, I saw. Who said it? I see some people putting MP. Tim, miss you too, man. Katie, you said MO. I bet that was a typo for MP. Oh, yeah, there you go. MP. Probably lime. Yeah, maybe. I don't have lime. All I have is this green. Lime would be better for MP. That more MP green. Nicole, hey. Oh, yeah, Allie. MP. MP colors. All right, great. Um, I don't know if you guys can see my hair is blowing in the wind and I'm sitting in the sun. It's getting a little bit hot and sweaty um, But that's okay. I love being outside. It is some beautiful weather and this back porch is put together great You guys can't see right behind the camera. Maybe I guys can I can show you guys at the end There is a vegetable garden. My wife's parents love to garden and it's just in the beginning stages I think they have some zucchinis and tomatoes and some peppers, um, but it's really pretty and she's got all these flowers. I got the grill and the smoker and a little lawn chair over here. Um, and we have like a little blow up pool and a water table for my son. Um, so those are anyways, pretty cool. Uh, how about we get started on our project? I think you guys have had plenty of time to gather materials. If you had to step away to get your materials, um, I think on the schedule, it was already, you already said what you needed, so you should have them. Um, and if you're just coming on, uh, not doing live, feel free to pause the video and go find your materials. My stuff's blowing away. Uh, again, that was any sort of cardboard tube. Any cardboard tube you want. Piece of wax paper. I don't know if you guys can see this on the video. I don't want to pull it out from under the plate. It's gonna blow away until I need it. Piece of wax paper. A lot of people have that in your kitchen. Um, some scissors so that we can cut. And a rubber band to hold it all on. Um, and what I did with my lightsaber one here first I actually painted it first um, I can put it up close if you see the paint is under the wax paper there at the end so how about let's go ahead I'm gonna put this over here in a safe place I'm gonna bring this stuff where you guys can see it I think you can see it right here I have my paint brushes my rubber band I don't think that'll blow away my cardboard tube and y'all are right, MP is what I'm going to attempt to paint here. I haven't sketched out or anything beforehand, so you're going to see it all live right here. I'm going to first take, I'm going to paint it all white. And the first one I did, uh, it, the cardboard soaked up the paint and it really went, it dried really fast. So we should be able to just move and groove on this. So I'm just going to dump out some of my white paint, just a little bit, not too much, because a little is going to go a long way on this little project. I'm going to use my wide brush, uh, paint brush. You can use whatever materials you have. If you're using markers or stickers or colored pencils, if you're using paint. But just what I'm using here is my wide, flat brush. I'm going to get some paint on it. 
And I don't have to be super careful. I'm just going to paint the whole thing white. And I'm probably going to get a little bit of paint on my fingers, but that's okay. It will wash off. I try careful not to get it on your clothes. It may not dry out and wash out of your clothes as easy as your hands. But you can get it on your hands and it'll wash off just fine. Just going to cover the whole thing in white. See if this is a pre recorded video. This is one of the times where I would have sped it up give you some fun music to listen to but I thought it would be fun to do live and have some conversation with you guys in the comments Ryan hey guy see you commenting there Tim I do have black paint but I left it inside I'm just gonna do it with my green and white today but you can do whatever you Want. This is your own instrument to make just for you. You do not have to do it like me. In fact, I would love it if you did it on your own. And later, after you have finished your project, you don't have to finish it now in the video or if you're watching it later, um, post in the comments. I want to see what you guys did, what creative directions you guys went. And if you went to a Star Wars theme, because May the 4th, I would love to see your Star Wars creations. And look, my paint's actually already drying. <clears throat> I need a little bit more because it's getting some dry brush action going. <clears throat> Hope the wind sounds not too bad. Hope you guys can hear me. I know the wind is blowing a little crazy here. Feels great. Not great for videos. Whoops. <clears throat> all right that's my white I'm gonna call that good enough for the white just cover the whole thing white I'm gonna give it a second just to dry I'm gonna kind of hold it up here um, check on the comments a little bit oh I got paint all over my fingers I was gonna do the computer with Seems to look like Audrey's talking. Hey, Audrey. See you on there. All right. Whoops. Give it another second to dry. While that is drying, I'm going to rub some of this paint off my hand. It's already dried on my hand. If you just kind of give it a good rub, this cheap acrylic paint comes off real easy. I think probably pay like a dollar for those tubes at Michael's making stuff up don't don't quote me on that but I know they were just cheap paints all right I'm gonna squirt some green out here mix it up just in case oh is this a brand new tube it sure is a brand new tube check it out Put that over here. Oh yeah, there we go. There's some green. So for this step, I'm gonna take this little brush because you know the MP logo has some details. So I have this little tiny, um, it's not a chisel brush. It is still just a flat brush, um, but it's really small. So you see the size difference here. I'm just going to pick one side. Um, this side is pretty right there. <clears throat> I'm going to do my best to paint a little MP logo on it. Let's see.
All right, just to show you guys my step, my process, did just an outline of the bottom. And then I'm gonna come across, I'm gonna do the, our mountains we have. I'm gonna cheat and look at my shirt here a little bit. Have the mountains. I'm going to fill in the top part. There we go. Getting close. I'm gonna give that a second to dry so that I don't I can go back over and try to do our leaves and a little bit thicker, darker green coat um, without messing this one up. So give it a second to dry. I'm gonna look at the comments real quick. Oh no! The wind is blowing the camera over. Yes. Um, Manny, you guys can definitely use stickers. Um, no, for a paper towel roll, you do not have to cut it. Um, if you guys, you guys have joined on later, here is the one I made earlier. It's a big long one. It's a, I think this might be a trash can roll or something, or trash bag roll. I'm not really sure what it is. I found it. It's a big, hefty, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty solid cardboard tube. But no, um, any sort of cardboard tube. It can be long, big, whatever. Both works. This one works great. I'm in a little tune. Um, Ryan, you can use whatever colors you want. This is your very own, um, it's going to be a kazoo, it's your very own. You can hold on to it forever, you can make the craft and put it on a shelf somewhere and forget about it. I'd rather you hold on to it and make some music, at least hold on to it through 2 o'clock today. But it is your very own kazoo for you to do what you want with. So you can decorate it however you want. You can write your name over it, you can write your initials, you can do MP. Um, you can say, thank you, Mom, I love you for Mother's Day. Um, whatever you think you want to do for your project is what you get to do. It is your very own. Kind of cheating here. Let's see. This big leaf over here. So if you guys see, I'm using a thicker layer of paint to get that darker green color for my leaves. But again, you guys do whatever you want. You do not have to make yours like mine, and I would, I kind of don't want you to make yours like mine. I want you to be creative and make your own. And I would love to see pictures of your kazoos after you have finished them, or even better, some videos of you using them. Um, and if you hold on to them till 2 o'clock, there's a fun video. I think it's fun. 
fun video coming out for you guys to play along with your kazoos. Alright, and then, so that's my shield. I think that's as good of a shield I'm going to get with my limited colors I have. I didn't go to the art store and buy new things for this. I just used what I had at home. Um, just like most of you guys are going to get to use just whatever you have at home. Um, at the very top, I'm just going to write my possibilities. There's 13 letters in my possi in possibilities. Let's just do it like this. I'm trying to center it. I'm put a B right there. Check on the comments. I'm trying to write my possibilities are on the bottom. It's a little bit hard to write with a paintbrush. Kind of looks a little bit messy, but that's okay. There we go. So, my, and then along the bottom, possibilities. Along the bottom, my possibilities. So I'm gonna give that a second to dry. I'm gonna kinda hold it up in the wind. Ooh, speaking of the wind, my stand is about to fall over. fixed. All right, I see the video froze. At least for me. All right, there we go. Jump back in. So, I hope you guys can see me. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start on the next part of it. So, what we need to do like I did on this one over here, you can't really see it because I painted over it. Um, you need to put a little hole in the somewhere in your kazoo. It doesn't need to be close to the bottom, um, but it needs to be a hole because if you do it like this and I cover up the hole, there's nowhere for the air to escape for you to get sound. Um, if you are in any of my music classes, we talk about this all the time that all sound is vibration and I'll give you guys um, here's another uh, pop quiz I guess or, or challenge opportunity in the comments um, all sound is vibration okay we talk about that all the time so there needs to be somewhere for the sound to vibrate and here's the question can somebody tell me what is inside the body of a guitar what is inside the body of a guitar
I'm waiting for the comments. Here's a hint. It is the same thing that's inside this kazoo and is going to be inside your kazoo. The sound hole, you're right, that is a good part of the guitar, but it's not what's inside the guitar. The sound hole is where we can see inside and where the sound comes out. All the vibrations bounce around inside these instruments. It's not just inside the guitar, it's really inside any instrument. But it's inside of the instrument. I'll show you guys how to make the hole in just a second. Oh, Aaron said it. It is air. Yes, inside all of our instruments, inside of our kazoos, inside of a guitar, inside of my trombone, a trumpet, all around us, what's um, able for my sound of my mouth to reach to this microphone right here for you guys to hear me is air. So we need air in our instruments. We need air to move for our instruments to make sound. If I take this hole and I plug it up, there's nowhere for the air to go, so there's no sound. But if I take my hand off the hole, it works, but I think it sounds better if I, if I hum into the hole. So it works pretty cool. We need, so we need to make a hole for our air to escape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to take the small part of my scissors. And just somewhere on my kazoo, it can be in the middle. I think that's a nice part right there where I haven't decorated a lot. Right there in the middle, I'm just going to kind of take like a drill action and very carefully, um, very, very, very carefully, and I don't want you to do it with a knife, I want you to do it with the scissors because you're going to do it against your hand. If you push really, really hard, you're going to hurt your hand, okay? I am barely, barely touching, and if you want somebody around you to help, then that is a good option, but I'm just going to barely press. I'm not pressing at all. More what's going to make this hole is the twisting than my pressing so just make a hole once you get the scissors in you can just spin it around make a nice sized hole Just a little hole, nothing fancy, just a hole for the air to escape. So I'm going to take my paint and I'm actually going to put it off to the side. We do not need it anymore. Um, you can decorate before or after this step. So if you're just joining and you want to get started on making the kazoo action, you can. Um, there's no really order to do this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wax paper. You can see I already cut out a little bit. And I'm going to see how big of a size I need. You want to have enough on the sides, probably about an inch, so that it can wrap around and you can put your um, rubber band around it. So put it down like this. And I'm just going to take my scissor, and it's wax paper. You can kind of draw on it just with the scissor. I'm going to make a line right there. Make a line right there. Uh oh. And just cut it out. Cut a square out. It does not have to be pretty because we're going to turn it around to our, around on our kazoo, anyways. So we're done with the wax paper. We're done with the scissors. All we need now is your kazoo and rubber band. So take your little piece of wax paper that you cut out, um, just big enough to go around your kazoo. I'm going to do it like this, and just come around and squeeze the paper around the side, just like that. Take your rubber band, and depending on the size of your rubber band and its stretchiness, you may need to do this one or two times to really get the wax paper to be secured onto your kazoo really well. And I think two times is going to work just fine for mine. And there's your kazoo. So you have two ways you can play it. You can either put it up to your mouth like this and you hum, 
way a kazoo works, remember all sound is vibration. So we're going to hum, which means we're going to use our voice for the vibration. Mm. Put the kazoo up to your mouth. Mm. Mm. You can play it like that, or you can play it into the side hole. And it's just a fun way to make your singing voice, your humming voice, sound like a little bit like an instrument, like a kazoo. That's about it, guys. That's how you make a kazoo. Um, I would love, love, love to see you guys uh, post pictures of your kazoo in the comments. Uh, post video. If you can't get the pictures or the videos uploaded to the comments, I'm going to uh, comment on right now. I'm going to put my email address. You guys can email them to me and I can figure out a way to uh, either make a post and share or I can try to share them to the comments. But either way, maybe I can just share them with staff members. I would love, love, love to see your kazoos. Um, here's my email. Oops, is it typing? All right, so if you have trouble sending them on the comments, you can send them to my email. Oh no, blown away. Uh, but that is how you make a kazoo, guys. Uh, I'm all done. I really want you to stay tuned until two o'clock. Keep your kazoos handy at two o'clock. I'm gonna post another video and uh, I don't know if it surprised it's a play along video, but I want you to have your kazoos and I want you to sing along with me. May the fourth be with you all. I'll see you later.